Beauty Bell C2. Glow beyond glamour. Piment du is a French phrase that means sweet pepper. Piment is pepper and du means sweet. So that is the name of this lightening concentrate or lightening serum. Piment du. This product is made in Cameroon by a company called BB Laboratories. And this um, serum does not come alone. It comes with its lotion, the face cream, the facial cleanser, the, <coughs> I'm sorry, the soap, the shower gel, and others. It comes in a full range. Today, we're focusing on this lightening concentrate, how to use it, what to do and what not to do, and how you can use it to get rid of dark knuckles effectively. This is how the package looks like okay and uh, before anything let me remind you that we also have the facial cleanser that looks almost the same as the serum so you need to be very careful when purchasing this product you need to read the inscriptions before you'll be able to identify the content is yellow the content color is yellow but the content color or the color of the cleanser is a bit lighter than that of the serum so that is one thing you should um, look out for you are not supposed to use it raw on the face because it contains some active exfoliating properties it peels the, the skin so i don't advise you to use it raw or directly on the skin on your face mm -mm. i beg don't do it don't apply this product directly you're going to have or you're going to experience peeling and after peeling your face will never be uniform. You are going to experience hyperpigmentation or discoloration on the face. If you're not even careful, your dark spots that you are trying to clear will even come back darker than before. So just avoid this product on the face. And on the body, um, I know some individuals who have developed um, stretch marks um, as a result of using this product on the body. I also know of somebody who has used this serum to achieve a perfect glowing result trust me i'm not going to lie about it so to be on the safer side know what works for you okay if you have a stubborn skin you can just um you can just um, pick this full bottle it's 60 ml you can just pour this whole bottle into your cream so if you want to know whether it's going to work for you or not <clears throat> and to prevent any discoloration st stretch marks and other things just go gradual if that is if you really want to go ahead and use it on the skin or mix it with your cream then just use just 20 ml of it or 10 ml mix it with 200 ml of lotion just a little and use <clears throat> start by using it on your feet your bum bum and see how you're going to react I can't tell you to go ahead straight up and use it on your body because for me I do not use it on my body I have heard about this product for years I have tried it before and I tried it on my dark knuckles it worked it worked for me so today I decided to come here again to talk about it now if um, you watch my last three videos you notice that my knuckles got a bit darker <coughs> yeah that was because I was on, I was using this I was on this so I try to apply it on my knuckles to give a review on it purposely for this video so I have a video on that unfortunately the video got deleted but then I have um, a video of the peeling process when it started exfoliating when it started peeling I have a video If you want to use this product to clear dark knuckles and dark el elbows, bravo, bravo, then this video is for you. You're going to enjoy the efficacy of this product. Now, if you want to use it to get rid of dark knuckles, let me tell you, it is 
normal to have dark knuckles okay sometimes dark knuckles can be natural some people are born with dark knuckles your knuckles can never be lighter than other areas of your hands because the knuckles those areas are bony they are made of bone it's no flesh okay and these the other parts are fleshy but your knuckles are bony so it is normal for your knuckles to be a bit darker than the other parts of your hand but when um, it becomes so obvious when it becomes too much too dark that is when you you may need treatment some babies come out with a little darker knuckles it is it is natural it is normal now if you are using a, a bleaching cream or a lightening cream you need to be very intentional about about it after applying your lightening oils and lightening lotions wash your hands with soap that is after applying your 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 lotions your oils your topicals wash your hands thoroughly skincare i mean skin whitening is 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 work if you don't have time don't start it it's a journey you need to have time you need to be conscious of what you're doing if you don't have that time if you don't have patience you can't don't even try it okay so you need to wash your hands thoroughly clean your hands and focus on these areas clean your hands wipe your hands dry because sometimes after during when we are using our lotions and oils they run down here hiding here and because these areas these areas are not exposed to the sun they tend to get whiter and fairer than the other parts um, of the hand so you need to focus in between your fingers wipe them dry clean them properly then after that you can apply your lightening cream all over your hands again that is after washing your hands with soap and water and wiping it dry if your knuckles are not too dark please don't bother treating it just leave it as it is it is normal sometimes if your knuckles are not too dark as in dark looking like this and you try to get rid of it it tends to get darker and get worse as it looked before so you have to take note don't let things give you headache leave your knuckles the way they are if you moisturize your hands regularly the darker areas are not really visible most of the time so you need to moisturize properly some of us um, don't even get the time to um, take care of our knuckles to take care of our skin because we are always busy our hands are always in products we are always formulating oils creams soaps our hands are always in product we are doing this we are doing that we are doing scraps and, and we don't get time to take care of our hands because the hands are already busy one minute my hands are in, are in product formulating the other minute I'm, I'm washing my hands another minute i'm back again on another product and all that so you see so from time to time my 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 daggles may get darker and it's normal for me so far as it doesn't look like um once it doesn't look like um um roasted plantain i'm okay if your knuckles are not looking like roasted plantain um just relax okay if it is a bit severe to you need to treat it that is where and when this product comes in so this is how we're going to use this product so you take a cotton bud cotton bud the ear bud okay let me see if i have one here so this is the cotton bud you put it inside and dab it on the dark areas your knuckles those areas your elbows do it for three days and stop i repeat do it for three days and stop and do it at night only because um you'll be exposed to the sun during the day and i'm not going to ask you to apply sunscreen on the areas just um, stick to night only for three days and that is it so after three days those areas that you have applied this concentrate are going to get a bit darker a shade darker after three days they're going to turn a bit yellowish okay yellowish then by seven days to get a bit darker because the peeling process is going to start or the exfoliating process is going to start it doesn't peel harsh like other products do this is very mild this is the mildest peeling serum i have ever seen in my entire life it is just mild very very mild it doesn't peel like vamp like others do so you don't expect to see 
quick and faster result and complete result. So you dab it on those areas for three days, three nights, and then you stop. Then you wait for seven days. You 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 start seeing some peeling um, effect on those areas. When you watch my last three videos, you see that my knuckles got a bit darker and a bit yellowish, uh -huh, and darker, and that is when the peeling had started. The peeling is complete now. It is complete. I am satisfied with the result. But if you are not satisfied with the result, you can go the second time. You can repeat the process. So when the peeling starts, don't try to pull it forcefully. That is one thing. Else it will re darken in no time. Those areas will re darken. Me, I don't have patience. I'm impatient. Okay. So when mine started peeling, I was I was peeling it. I just wanted to get rid of it. So I was peeling it, peeling it, and it's wrong. That you shouldn't do it that way. So you allow it to peel gradually. It's going to take like 14 days for everything to peel completely. So take your time. When you realize that the, the skin is getting loose, then you can just peel it off. Especially after shower, the, the knuckles become softer, the areas become softer. So when you pull it like this, it just takes off. When you pull it, it just comes off. It just falls off like that. That is good. But if it is not peeling, it's not yet mature and you forcefully pull it, that place is going to redden and it's going to get darker eventually right after the peeling is complete it's going to get darker i didn't i wasn't patient with my process so the knuckles became a bit reddish and um the result wasn't too um good when the peeling is complete and you realize that you you still have to go again feel free go again even if it needs you to go the third time just go ahead and use it the third time but make sure that you allow the peeling process to complete so from two to three weeks everything will be done then you you go again after you get the desired result you are satisfied with result don't go and apply steroids steroids will re darken the areas as soon as you stop when you stop for like um three days you see your knuckles going bad badder than before so just avoid steroids and allow just moisturize your hands and allow your skin to breathe okay so if after three months four months five months and you realize that it's getting darker again just repeat it now i'll make a review of a soap you can also use um, while using this product you just use the soap apply it on those areas 10 minutes or five minutes before you go shower to keep to maintain the fingers and do as i told you earlier wash your hands thoroughly after applying your topicals focus on in between your fingers and then after that you reapply um, your lightening product thoroughly on your hands so if you do things that way you're not going to have problems with severe dark knuckles if your dark knuckles are not severe don't bother um, using any product to get rid of it just maintain it get a moisturizer and it will glow it will look clean it will look healthy it will look beautiful in short what i can say about this lightening um, serum is that it's a good one but i do not use it on my face or on my body i only use it to get rid of dark knuckles and it works perfectly the result is is always amazing so you can grab it to um, get rid of your dark knuckles repeat the process if everything is not completely gone on. repeat and repeat you can even do it up to three times and stop allow the skin to breathe for some months and you are good to go out of um, 10 i'll give it 10 because it does it does the work it does amazing so that is it about pima du serum thank you very much for watching if you love this video kindly give me a thumbs up subscribe like and share see you in my next video